The Ishango bone is a bone tool, dated to the Upper Paleolithic era. It is a dark brown length of bone, the fibula of a baboon, with a sharp piece of quartz affixed to one end, perhaps for engraving. It was first thought to be a tally stick, as it has a series of what has been interpreted as tally marks carved in three columns running the length of the tool. But some scientists have suggested that the groupings of notches indicate a mathematical understanding that goes beyond counting. It has also been suggested that the scratches might have been to create a better grip on the handle or for some other non-mathematical reason. The Ishango bone was found in 1960 by Belgian Jean de Heinzelin de Broercourt while exploring what was then the Belgian Congo. It was discovered in the area of Ishango near the Semlaiki River. Lake Edward empties into the Semlaiki which forms part of the headwaters of the Nile River. The bone was found among the remains of a small community that fished and gathered in this area of Africa. The settlement had been buried in a volcanic eruption. The artifact was first estimated to have originated between 9000 BC and 6500 BC. However, the dating of the site where it was discovered was re-evaluated, and it is now believed to be more than 20,000 years old. The Ishango bone is on permanent exhibition at the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences, Brussels, Belgium. Possible meaning. Mathematical calculations sim believe the three columns of asymmetrically grouped notches imply that the implement was used to construct a numeral system. The central column begins with three notches and then doubles to six notches. The process is repeated for the number 4, which doubles to 8 notches, and then reverse for the number 10, which is halved to 5 notches. These numbers may not be purely random and instead suggest some understanding of the principle of multiplication and division by 2. The bone may therefore have been used as a counting tool for simple mathematical procedures. Furthermore, the numbers on both the left and right column are all odd numbers. The numbers in the left column are all of the prime numbers between 10 and 20, while those in the right column consist of 10 plus 1, 10 minus 1, 20 plus 1 and 20 minus 1. The numbers on each side column add up to 60, with the numbers in the central column adding up to 48. In the book How Mathematics Happened, The First 50,000 Years, Peter Rudman argues that the development of the concept of prime numbers could have come about only after the concept of division, which he dates to after 10,000 BC, with prime numbers probably not being understood until about 500 BC. He also writes that no attempt has been made to explain why a tally of something should exhibit multiples of two prime numbers between 10 and 20 and some numbers that are almost multiples of 10. Lunar calendar Alexander Marshak examined the Ishango bone microscopically, and concluded that it may represent a six-month lunar calendar. But Judy Robinson argues that Marshak overinterprets the data and that the evidence does not support lunar calendars. Claudia Zaslavsky has suggested that this may indicate that the creator of the tool was a woman tracking the lunar phase in relation to the menstrual cycle. Second bone. During earlier excavations at the Ishango site in 1959, another bone was also found. It is lighter in color and was scraped, thinned, polished, and broken on one end, revealing it to be hollow. The artifact possibly held a piece of quartz like the more well-known bone or it could have been a tool handle. The 14 cm long bone has 90 notches on six sides, which are categorized as major or minor according to their length. Jean de Heinzelin interpreted the major notches as being units or multiples and the minor notches as fractions or subsidiary.